Hey money loves, welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see today, I have another wig for you guys. Today's wig is from YGWigs.com. I will have the information about this hair down below, but I'm just going to be showing you guys how I take care of my curly hair and how I apply this wig. Super easy, super simple, and it's perfect for the winter time. So if you guys want to see how I do that, just keep on watching. Y'all, this wig smells so good. <sighs> so what I'm gonna be doing is taking some detangler I had laying around, um, just to see if it'll get a little bit softer. I'm just gonna put that throughout the hair. So what I'm gonna be doing first is just cutting off the lace right now because with 360 wigs, I don't like dealing with the lace while I have it on my head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off. Three B. This hair is like a three A hair texture. What I'm going to do now is just customize the hairline just a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and apply the wig. that the lace is off I'm going to go ahead and push the wig back a little bit and I'm going to apply to apply some got to be glue gel and possibly some got to be freezing spray 
we'll see we'll see how this sticks and yeah so let's let's get into it So now that I have the wig on, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of baby hair. I don't really want to do too much with this hair because the curls will speak for itself, okay? So I'm just going to start over here. I already have some got to be gel on my hands, finger, and I'm just going to put it right there. And I swoop this. I'm not really cutting any baby hairs because I just want everything just to flow into each other. my concealer brush from Ruby Kisses as well as my face powder and I'm going to put that in the part This is a lot of hair, y'all. 180 density, like what? So I'm going to take my spray bottle of water and just spray the entire head just so to get it a little bit damp. I don't want it dripping, but I want it damp, so. Now I'm going to take sort of like a leave-in conditioner. I'm taking the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Or if you guys want to continue using Cantu, I do sometimes use the leave-in conditioner. Today I want to use this Curl Enhancing Smoothie for this luscious curly hair. So I'm taking about a quarter size amount. Again, focusing on ends, working my way up. Okay, as y'all can see the difference between the two, this is the side with the water and product. So get a closer look at that and how soft and manageable the hair is now. And over here is what natural hair will look like combed out and it feels like natural hair as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side and then we'll be done.
now that I have all of those products in it, I am going to add a hair serum. What I use usually is the Garnier Fructis Anti-Free Serum in a green bottle. But today I have a new Anti-Free Serum by OGX and this is the Kakui Oil. This is an Anti-Freeze Hydrating Oil. As y'all can see, like, look at that luster. So that is pretty much all I do to keep and maintain my curly hair. If you guys are into really curly hair, I definitely recommend this hair. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye my loves.